Sa oras pong ito, nais ko pong batiin ang lahat ng magandang umaga at happy sabat po. Happy sabat po sa inyong lahat. Okay. Kayo po ay nagagalak na maglingkod sa Diyos sa umagang ito sa magitan ng pagharap sa inyo bilang aming mga kapatid. At kami po ng mga teachers ay may uh, karagdagang kagalakan sapagat ang aming mga estudyente nakikita namin na narito po sa loob ng ating bahay sa bahay. Especially, I would like to mention recognize our student Cyril Luistro. Would you please stand up? Yan. Siya po ay aming estudyante. Estudyante ko rin sa C80. Siya po ay isang senior high school student. Welcome uh, Cyril. So magang ito ay isang bagay po ang gusto kong bigyan ng impasis sapagkat kami bilang mga bago dito sa Iglesia ng Rosario, may isang bagay kami na gustong Bigyan ng pansin at uh, bigyan na, ay bigay na tulong sa iglesyang ito. Pagkat ito ang aking muna kasanayan, sabi nga po, it is not just a part of our lives, but it is our life. It is already, uh, parang sabi nga, parang ng dugong nananalay tayo sa aming maungat. Ang gusto ko pong sabihin ay tungkol sa community services. May isa po tayo maigsing video clip na papanoorin at bigyan natin ng pansin kung ano ba ang hatid na mensahe po nito sa atin. Pagmasdan po, panoorin po natin mabuti. Kapag, kapag araw po ng Sabat, may mga mahalagang bahagi tayong ginagambardat gawin para sa Diyos. Subalit, pagdating ng hapon, may mahalagang bagay pa rin na dapat nating gawin na ating na kinakailangan na bigyang pansin sa ating pong kapanahonan. Panoorin po natin. Seventh-day Adventists, are they known for their commitment to spiritual values and unconditional commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ? Is their spiritual experience personal and spiced with joy? Do they actively participate in the local church, finding ways to serve the world around them locally and globally with compassion and in grace? Recognizing members of this Christian faith community should be easy. Seventh-day Adventists aren't different for difference's sake. Their goal is to be a reflection of their master, Jesus. They find power to live lives of faith by depending on the most mysterious and powerful presence on the planet, the Holy Spirit. They find strength in an intimate relationship with the Holy Scriptures, in prayer, in worship. They take care of their relationships and their actions. They strive to be generous and compassionate. Right. Seventh-day Adventists are a worldwide family of believers. Diverse in culture, they embrace unity of belief and mission. They believe that working together is the most effective way to bring positive change to their community. If you're a Seventh-day Adventist, you probably think you have a good thing to offer. But what does your neighbor think? Do they see in you someone who lives what you believe, which translates into friendship, common struggle, and care? Does a Seventh-day Adventist neighbor find hope in Jesus attractive? Or answer this, do people see in you a person who offers a positive, no strings attached service to the community? Who are Seventh-day Adventists? Are they a people of hope? Yes. Tayo po bilang mga Seventh-day Adventists, saan po ba dapat tayo makilala? Sabi ng pangal, let your light so shine before men. Pero saan po tayo kilala sa ating lipunang ginagalawan? Pag tayo po ay nagbibigay ng crusade, saan po tayo kilala? Ano ang number one identity po natin that we need to change? Tayo po ay kilala sa mga do's and don'ts. But it's now 
time to change that kind of identity. Ako ay sawa na marinig yun, sawa na ako na yun ang trademark ng Seventh-day Adventists. It's now the time to change that kind of identity na dapat ay makilala po tayo sa community services. Na doon tayo nagliliwanag, hindi lamang sa kung anong truth ang mayroon po sa atin, kundi kung paano tayo tumutulong, nagpapadama ng ating malasakit sa ating kapo. Ang tanong ko po, manamahal ng mga kapatid, kailan po natin yan the best time na pwede magawa na sama-sama? Is it Sunday? Is it during the week? Weekdays? I think the best time to do it is during Saturday afternoon. But where are we during Saturday afternoon, their brethren? The writings of Mrs. White said in the book, Desire of Ages, we can do three things during Saturday afternoon or during the whole Sabbath. Number one, to worship God. In the afternoon, we can do the, what we call helpful rest. No problem to nap Pero kung nap natin ay from after lunch to 6 o'clock, it's not a helpful rest. We are not doing the right thing or the best thing during Sabbath day. To nap just 20, 30, or maybe one hour, I think it's enough. Pero if to consume the whole Saturday afternoon, staying in the home without doing nothing, waiting to sunset, waiting to sun to set, I think we are not doing the best thing for God. And thirdly, missionary activities. Dear brethren, kami po na narito ay hindi kami matahimik na pag Saturday afternoon ay nasa bahay lang. We started already vi visiting our brethren who are in need of visit, comfort. How about you? When are you going to do the same? God is waiting us to see your initiative. Kailan kayo magdi-decide? Kung, ka kung hindi ngayon, kailan? Kung hindi dito sa lugar ng Rosario, saan po natin gagawin? I hope God, the Holy Spirit, will touch our, will touch our hearts to respond. His calling. Happy Sabbath po and good morning.